I think I'm actually finally getting the actually I don't even want to jinx it fam my, my queue for the last couple of days has been so bad I don't know if you've noticed like usually I would never resort to just just queuing whoever in videos like I try and like exclusively like when I'm recording anyway look for diamond or like Valhalla players or something just to get some decent gameplay because I can't be asked recording ranked that's always the solution isn't it to just record ranked and you always have decent players but it's like I just can't be asked and I'm, I'm sure you can understand <laughs> like so bro but yeah last few days I've literally had to I've spent like I'm not even joking half an hour like looking for games and it's just a half an hour straight of queuing and not a single diamond border but I had to grind the experimental game mode and you know what I'm saying we got there in the end or well, I hope so anyway like I said I probably have just jinxed it entirely um well let's let's hope not that recovery should have hit that's 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 uh, that's the hammer I know in love anyway that would have hit but um what was I gonna say I don't even know it's actually daylight for once because um yeah waking up nice and early I have to take my cat to the vet today which which pray for him because bro I I never worry about anything fam like ever and by the way i'll get into the point of the video one second the point of the video is two seconds long so do you get what i'm saying it's not worth the wait if you're here to talk about rahada then you know what i'm saying just click off anyway but yeah bro i don't worry about anything but that cat makes me fucking worry fam like i i don't know i was just i was just stroking him the other night pause petting him uh, why am i saying pause bro our minds are all finished i say ours i've just i've just <laughs> i've just lumped you in i know it was only me thinking pause then as well so i i, I apologize for lumping you in with me but yeah um either way and i just felt like a lump fam and i'm like oh no that's it's just I, you don't want to be feeling that so i'm gonna go get it checked out and uh I think going to the vet is like at least when you're living in the uk probably the closest i can get to experiencing like the american fucking healthcare system 50 pound to go get him literally looked at you know one time cats get this thing yeah like I said, bro, I worry about that cat. I don't know. He's, he's like nine years old now. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm extra. Yeah. But one time is like, cat, cats get this thing called like a, a primordial pouch. I think it's called. Maybe it's not. I think it is though. Yeah, that's that fucking perfect axe recovery right there. And it just makes, it, they just have like a pouch on their, on their stomach, right? It makes their belly hang. Like a bad bitch. And it is, it, yeah, I, I thought, I don't know. I thought there was something wrong with him. Because I guess I just never noticed it before. And then all of a sudden, it just started like getting like bigger or whatever. And I was feeling it, and I was like, "Bro, this brother's got he's, he's fat stomach." Took him to the vet. Fifty pounds. Fifty pounds sucked out my bank account for the vet to tell me my cat might just be getting a bit fat. I was so worried about him, like, bro, it... <laughs> so worried just to spend fifty pounds and have the vet tell me the cat's feeling he's, he's, he's a little bit chubby, which he's not. The vet is a fucking idiot because the last time we took him to that vet, he was like like fresh out the womb fam so obviously he, he weighs more now than he did back then but the vet was like yeah last time we, we weighed him you know he was a lot heavier oh, oh, oh lighter sorry oh fucking obviously oh by hell fucking weighed the vet you know when he came out his mother's fucking clunge you know what i'm saying he's, he's gonna be lighter than he is now but yeah i don't know so that's in like an hour um so we will we will we'll see I'll, I'll i'll update you lot on the, on the fucking status of my cat but you know hopefully everything is good good and well with him but point of the video i should get on to uh before i don't know mentally old brothers come at me you know how i just said i'm in a little bit of a rush you know because i've got to go to the vet in an hour yeah um you know i try to start the game unable to start the game <laughs> due to server mate it's fantastic you know perfect downtime for, 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 for you to consider subscribing to the channel you twat okay turns out servers went down because of because of this uh new new yeah can i just like talk to you for a second fuck brother for a second i know i said i was gonna get into the point in the video but oh it's because i think i've i've done this battle pass before it's giving me everything right now okay anyway like i said fuck brother for a second bro i okay i took my because obviously the servers went down in that time i took my cat to the vet um to find out what that little that little lump on him was and bro like i'm shaking right now he's fine he's fine um i, I took him to the vet and it was literally I, well, I took him in, right, in this big-ass, big-ass dog cage. Because it's the only cage I have. Fucking massive cage. Brothers, the vet asked me if I had a bird of prey in there. Do you get what I'm saying? It was my little cat underneath the blanket. Because he fucking hides. Because he's scared of everything. And, um... Bro, I, I've been so stressed, bro. I've, I, I played it down in the video. Because 
know what I'm saying? That's that's what men do, isn't it? You, you play it down, but you, bro, I've been this is the most stressed I've been in so long, fam. I've been like I've got a pain in my stomach because of so much anxiety. But I took him into the office, like the vet office, right? And and I got a cat out. Dug his claws into the blanket because he didn't want to be brought out. And he's I talked about it before. He's scared of fucking everything. And I brought the blanket onto the table. He brought the blanket with him. I was picked the cat up, and he was picking the blanket up. Um, and the vet felt the lump. I found it finally. Uh, and and he looked at me. Yeah, oh, there's my dog. He looked at me and he and he asked, "Has the cat been microchipped?" And bro, oh my god, when I when I heard him say that, I can't even describe the feeling, fam. Just like straight fucking relief. My dog's trying to get out the room. He knows how, but he's being an idiot. There we go. Um, <laughs> my cat uses his hands to get out the door, man. Or hands, paws. And my dog just uses his fucking head. Anyway, um, yeah, it was literally because you're not supposed to be able to feel the microchip, but I could feel it. Oh, he could feel it. I don't know why, but yeah. And bro, yeah, and then he scanned it just to make sure it was in here. It was literally the microchip, bro. I, oh my days, I can't even describe the fucking feeling. Also, surprisingly, um, the vet didn't even charge me for that. I was literally saying in that first game, wasn't I? I was saying the, the last time I took him, because his belly was sagging. And it was like, yeah, like, there was a loose skin on his belly. And he was literally, the vet was just like, yeah, maybe he's getting a bit fat and then charged me 50 pounds. Literally experiencing the, the American healthcare system. But it, yeah, he just said, I'm not going to charge you for that. And then just, just sent me on my way. Me and my cat on my way. Bro, I'm not even like, above, like I'm not even above admitting it. I'll fully tell you, bro, I cried on the way home. <laughs> out of like, I don't even know. I've not cried in years, fam. But, it, you know, I just out of fucking relief, I guess. Or happiness. I don't know, man. But fuck, you know, I'm still like shaking right now. It's, yeah, that was, oh man, I told you that fucking cat makes me worry for no reason, fam. It's fucking fucking microchip there's so many words i went to... i'm just i'm i'm an idiot well no to be fair though is like the vet even said it's like you're not supposed to be able to feel it so it's not even it's not even like it was my fault it's just it's how it was we could feel it but he said there's, there's not you know there's not a problem with that or whatever and didn't even charge me for it so what a goat man what a fucking goat and my cat is okay praise the lord man anyway um yeah point of the video was gonna be like i said i'm not even gonna talk about it for too long because I just don't care to at the moment, but it, it's just like meta in this game is is it's fucking pointless, isn't it, bro? Like, if you watch BCX or you watch any of like the most recent tournaments, but especially BCX, some of the the most widely regarded shit weapons in this game, being you know cannon, which didn't make an appearance, I don't think to be fair, but cannon, axe, and and greatsword. Um, I will say, you know, greatsword only being regarded as shit because of propaganda like e e they don't even believe it themselves or either it it it's people trying to spread propaganda and they they're saying it's shit uh, so that weapon you know gets buffs even more buffs and you know they have to be less good at the game to prosper or it's um brothers that have fallen for the propaganda it's, it's literally a, one of those two options they're, they're the only people on this earth that believe great sword is bad but grand finals in bcx was literally Oh, hammer. Hammer as well. Another, like, widely regarded shit weapon. Top three. Oh, sorry. Well, the, the three weapons in Grand Finals of BCX were Greatsword, Hammer, and Axe. So it's like, brothers are always crying for no reason, man. And I say this every single time, uh, like, a, a, an F tier, you know, quote unquote, F tier weapon wins a tournament. It's the same story, man. It, you can win on everything, you know? Some weapons might need nerfs, some weapons might need buffs, right? But it, it you can win on everything. If your goal is to get good at Brahalla, and you know, that's why you're, you're, you spend all day complaining about balance or, you know, whatever it is that you do, it's, don't, just, 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 just grind the game, just practice, don't worry about the fucking meta, play whatever you feel the most comfortable on. I'm not saying meta has no impact in the game, because obviously it does, right? Like, if it, like bro, we, we've had weapons like BCX Greatsword, right? Or 2020 Greatsword, I should say. Where it's like, obviously, you can't just say at that point, fucking, you get what I'm saying, skill issue. Like, the weapon was better than everything else. So, like, you know, there was a clear advantage there. But that's like a rare circumstance, right? For the vast majority of, of times in this game, you can literally win on everything. And, and you get what I'm saying? Brothers are just wasting their, their time crying and complaining about things when they could spend that time just getting better at the game, to be honest. Uh, and like I said, bro, I mean... I, I've, I've even made a video in the past going over how chasing the meta 
is actually not even a bad thing because when you do that and i've done it fam when i was trying to get good at the game i would just play whatever i thought was good which to be fair wasn't always the meta because i've always just formed my own fucking opinions on the games you get what i'm saying if i thought something was really broken do you get why it probably was you know because that, well, that's what happens when you use your own brain you know you can actually figure these things out you know you can just feel for yourself if something feels broken it's it's probably broken unless you're in gold right um so yeah but but doing that it's like you get to teach yourself like every weapon in the game at its best state at its easiest think if you were trying to learn hammer right when hammer was by far the best weapon in this game for like two years in a row you would have had a much easier time learning it than if you tried to learn hammer when you know it was by far the shittest weapon in the game with absolutely no competition just straight ass dog water weapon cat shit weapon so it's like just swapping weapons all the time in accordance to the meta it's not a bad strategy you know because you learn the game very quickly and i've always said that like playing a wide variety of legends and playing like a wide variety of weapons and shit and taking time to like really learn everything is the quickest way to improve in Brahala. like and that's full stop obviously movement but movement transfers over every legend like movement and neutral well neutral also depends on the weapon i guess but you get what i'm saying what the fuck is this map i've never seen this shit before there's no way this is a fucking 1v1 map i hope not anyway am i gonna get a platinum player or am i gonna get a good player we'll we'll roll with it I, i'm not quite sure uh, I'm, I'm i would imagine platinum uh i would usually leave but i can't i just can't be asked i'm just gonna play we're just gonna play it um but yeah i don't know also like i was saying you could you know alternatively and i would say maybe not equally as good but you could just stick to one legend like forever find the legend you're most comfortable on and it doesn't matter if brothers think it's bad most likely it will still be good enough to like win a tournament there's no legend in this game that is not good enough to win a tournament yeah. you know magyar when he was in a 10 times worse state than he's in now you know won a tournament with sandstorm so it's li li like it's just waffle bro you, you can win on everything simple as that so that sig is broken as fuck i've never really used it until today but i'm grabbing necks with that sig he's <laughs> he came back that was a sneaky one you know that was a fucking sneaky one. He thought he'd come back to my bot. What did he know? I'm still here. Still here, pussy. But yeah, um, I don't know. That, that's basically it for the for, for the video and everything. Just, yeah, uh, I don't know, man. I'm just so fucking happy, to, to be honest, because that shit was serious stress. Is he going to come back for a third time? Or, I'm oh, sorry, second time, I should say. He's actually gone now? Okay, respect. On a topic, by the way, of BCX, do you know how funny it is? I am um, okay. Well, basically, I've been using Twitter lately just to promote my videos, but like, I've, and I'm just logging off the app and deleting the app afterwards. Um, oh, well, doing it on my PC because then you don't even have to install the app. I can just go on the fucking website. Yeah, okay, this guy is terrified of the game of Brahalla. Um, but yeah, this last time I forgot to like log out of the app and not, well, not even forgot, I just couldn't be asked. Like, I just never did it. Uh, and I've been getting, getting notifications, right? which I never got in the past, but I've been getting notifications for when people post. Uh, and even though I follow nobody anymore, because I said I, I got rid of the fucking app, I stopped following it, yeah. Bro, I, I'm just getting straight recommended the most dog shit Rahala pop. Bro, you know what's crazy is seeing the people who've talked the craziest on the internet, IRL. They've gone BCX, you know, and the, the, the involuntary face reveal. It's crazy, bro. I, I'm seeing no joke and it, it it inspired me to to actually you know follow through with deleting the fucking app again and logging off again i'm seeing little and that bro you know it, j i'm not talking about anyone specific i'm not going to name names because obviously that would be, be disrespectful even though you know they are also disrespectful people um little like just the most the scrawniest pastiest j bro in in f straight up full shysties at bcx why are scrawny little pasty kids wearing fucking balaclavas all ballied up at a brahala tournament damn and it's like oh bro do they not realize how embarrassing that is that's so bad that's so bad you got uh, you got ops you got ops at bcx I, I, I don't understand what's going on fam I, and it's not not talking about one person either so you can't even say i'm singling one person out like i'm talking like bro there was multiple 
little scrawny kids wearing balaclavas at BCX. And I don't know if, like I said, it's like they've got ops at BCX, you know, they're in danger. I'm not sure. Or if they just didn't didn't want people to see what they look like. But I'm not going to say because they're clapped. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. That would be disrespectful, like I said. But, you know, um, you know, maybe that's that's their reason. Maybe, you know, unfortunately, they think they, they do look clapped. And, you know, they should get some build their self-esteem up. See, I'm being positive. I'm not being negative. You prick. Um, but, yeah, that was it was just so funny to see, man. Brothers that talk the most. And it's, it's just that it will never end, bro. This is how it is. If someone is by, is, is on Discord or Twitter or something or, or Reddit talking crazy, talking like they're from the gutter, talking like they're from the, the fucking slums, the streets, the hood. Yeah. And then you see them IRL, two foot five, 50, 50 pounds, 20 kg soaking wet, straight out of the shower, straight after a meal, not shat today. And a balaclava for some reason. Oh, bro, it's, it's jokes. It was funny to see. Anyway, uh, I'll end the video there and we'll, we'll shout out the channel members. Have I bought this battle pass? Like, have I Have I already? Yeah, okay, I have. So I, I got... Yeah, cool. It did... Yeah, it is Frozen Forest. I was going to say, this is shit. But next battle pass, I would say definitely don't waste your money on this one. There's nothing good that comes out of this one. This battle pass is so ass. Uh, oh, the Mako skins are... It's, I mean, it's alright. You don't. No one plays Mako, so it's not worth it for a Mako skin. Anyway, um, next battle pass is is the the coat of lions color, which is what I think I was using today. Actually, was it? Yeah. Okay. This this doesn't make it look very good, but coat of lions is a is a fucking serious color. So next battle pass, I would actually, for the first time, recommend getting. Um, well, not next battle pass, but the next, you know, throwback battle pass. So the one after the next one. If that makes sense. Um. But yeah, man, like I said, I'll think of it like a hint for who's zooming in on and shout out the channel members. Okay, hint for who's zooming in on today to quote one of the, the finest musicians, finest artists of our, of our time, of, of any time, of any generation, uh, it would be, I can't make you leave your girl, but what I made her do can like. And then let me shout out the channel members. Moro, Matt Brandenburg, Eric Solkay, Janwell, Pokey Sushi, Fish Sticks, Tude, Atomo, No Waffles, Ash Mitzing, Kenji, Pico Equest, No Glory, Bargain Builds, Fatchdale, Brascari, Dylan Jelly, Hegemony X9, McKee, Red Room, Lighter, Brandon Murray, Maxwell Podcast, Tech Code RT, Earthman MC, Pinnacle, Slush, Lacan, Atomic Wall, Lizio, Hammy, Awesome, Controller Mods, The Fat Mouth, Andy Nocturne, Drunk Dog, Flashy, Colorful Alchemy, Kane, Luca, Dodge the Dolphin, Captain Law, I, Coming, and Jay. Thank you all so much. Wait, did. I... Wait, hold on. I swallow. Ice, what was it? I, I swallow. Edit is, is no longer a channel member. That's 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 a legendary one. Gone. I only just clocked. I was thinking. I was thinking. I, you know that was too easy. Getting through that list was too easy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's it's because that brother's gone. Well, you know, Sayonara. It's been it's been, it's been a good time, man. Anyway, uh, thank you all so much. You're all the goats. Uh, really and truly, I, I do appreciate it like a lot. You helped me out so much, in, just in general, and I'm I'm very grateful for that. From me to you, not on a YouTuber thing. Genuinely, from me as a person, thank you so much. Um. Everyone else, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, I love you all. Have a great series of days, and peace.